as I said uh, earlier in the opening remarks video, which I hope you have watched. If not, the link is in the description. I'm going to actually start explaining from the problem A, and I'm going to cover each problem in a separate video. So in this problem, we are given two integers, A and B, and we have to output the smallest tensor for A XOR X plus B XOR X for any given X. So in this problem, we don't have to find the X, but we have to find this answer. And uh, in order to do it, we need to analyze uh, like what X or X and X or X are. So let's say the number A is like something like B0, B1, and so on. Like these are the bits of the number. B is the number uh, B0 prime since it's a different bit, b1 prime, and so on. And uh, x, let's note it like x0, x1, and so on. OK, now we have to find the minimum answer for x or x plus big or x. As you know, the x or r operation is uh, computed independently for every single bit. If you don't know how XOR R works, there is also the Wikipedia link in the problem description, but I'm also going to briefly explain it here. In short, 0 XOR 0 is 0, 0 XOR 1 and 1 XOR 0 are 1, and 1 XOR 1 is 0. Basically, it's an exclusive OR, like we can't have the same bit on both positions. If we have it, it's zero, otherwise it's one. And uh, that's what I'm going to use for this problem. Now, uh, let's look at two positions. So let's say uh, Bx, Bx prime, and x0. X, X, actually, not zero. It can be any position. And uh, let's analyze some cases. Now, if Bx and Bx prime have the same value, we can just uh, make the X have also the same value, since we are asked for the minimum answer. And if they don't have the same value, we can just take either of them, like zero or one. But actually, we take each of them. It doesn't matter. So the answer only matters when uh, these bits have the same value. So in short, this leads us, this leads us to the following conclusion. If uh, for a certain x, we have to take bits based on the two values of the bits on a and b, why not just do something related to A and B? And uh, since uh, in this problem we are using XOR, it's actually uh, quite uh, nice to assume that uh, we are going to use A XOR B. Why does this work actually? It actually works. And the reason why it works is because uh, based on these bits, like on a random bit, we can extend the same logic for all the bits of the number. Even though some of the bits may actually be zero, like uh, the bit before the actual number, it doesn't matter. We can use the same logic to actually realize that uh, by choosing the right x, we will end up having x or b. And coding this is actually quite simple. You only have to read the input and print X or B. Depending on the language, it can be written in various ways. But in C++ and some other languages as well, you can just write uh, using this sign. Or in other languages, you can even write X or R. It works. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this actually quite short editorial, and I see you guys to the next problem.